This is a little story about a sack of nuts. That's right, and get your mind out of the gutter, I'm talking about pistachio nuts. Went to Whole Foods this evening to pick up a couple of quick pizzas for dinner tonight. My wife has been sick for the last couple of weeks. Everybody's recovering. We wanted a nice, easy Sunday night, and so a couple of pizzas. And of course, I ran across these pistachio nuts, and I couldn't resist. $7.99 for this big bag of pistachio nuts. And then suddenly I realized when I went to check out, $48 later, and all those bells and whistles are going off, all those things you hear about Whole Foods, all oh, Whole Foods, Whole Paycheck, you know, all the other criticisms you hear, you might hear about Whole Foods. Here's the thing about Whole Foods. You get what you pay for, people. I was so inspired by this story, I wanted to share it. And it's really more for the company or the salesperson or the service provider that might be watching this rather than a customer, although everybody will be able to relate to it. So I, I put this bag in with the pizzas and a few of the other treats that we got for dinner tonight. And it's $48, my gosh, I got back into the Prius V, I'm sitting and looking at the receipt. I figure out, how in the heck did I get the bill up to 48 bucks? It's usually a victory to get out of Whole Foods for less than 50, but tonight I thought it shouldn't be up that high. Sure enough, the bag of pistachio nuts was $7.99 a pound. So we got $16.84 worth of nuts here. I can't afford that many nuts. That'll drive my wife nuts. So I went back inside with the bag of nuts, my receipt, looking very pathetic, went up to the customer service counter and I said, I can't afford these nuts. And she said, oh, you know, it's, it's okay. I'm sorry. This isn't the first time that that's happened. A lot of people have been confused by that sign. It says $7.99 a pound. And because of the way it's packaged, it seems like it should be $7.99. They didn't make me feel bad about it. They didn't question it. What they did instead is they apologized to me. We're very sorry. Other people have made the same mistake. Let us take care of the refund for you. They refund the money on my credit card, and then the woman, hand, she starts to hand me back the bag of nuts, and I'm like, well, oh, maybe she's confused, or she's not thinking straight, or it's the end of her shift, or whatever the case might be. I said, well, no, hold on a second, I'm returning these nuts, and she said, no, you know what? When you leave the store with the food, and then you return it, we can't resell it, so it's going to go in the garbage anyway, just take it with you. So I got a free bag of nuts from Whole Foods. And I thought, you know, and I'm walking out of that store thinking, man, that's almost $20 worth of nuts for free, and they made me feel really, really good. That's the goal, right? That's our goal at Smart Motors. When you come to Smart Motors, we want you to feel like you got a great deal on a car, that the experience was fun, efficient, and everything that, that buying a new car or even a used car that's new for you should be. You're talking about it with your friends, you're making a video about it and telling everybody how great Whole Foods is in this case, telling everybody how great Smart Motors is. This is a really good lesson. This is, a, this is a, what I'm thinking is a fairly significant by the customer loss of profit for Whole Foods, but not a problem at all because they know I'm coming back. And sure enough, I left my iPhone there and I had to come back and I bought a couple more things while I was there. It all works out in the end, but it's a great story of what great companies do to serve their customers. And we at Smart Motors believe that we do the same thing and that's what our customers tell us over and over again. So for salespeople and service people, a good lesson. For potential customers of cars and buying cars at Smart Motors, this is what you can expect from us. Hope to see you soon. This is Johnny T. It's johnny-t.net. That's right. Corporate America has been cracking down. I can no longer call myself Johnny Toyota officially. So the new introduction is, this is Johnny T. And you know what the T stands for because we're talking about Toyotas. Thanks for watching, everybody.